Okay, Assy's up. He says, hi, I was just wondering if there's a way to make stronger SEO with IFTTT besides the tier one ring for a website. I am looking for something stronger. I was doing RSS feed, mixing it to three tiers. Is that okay? Sure, that's fine, Assy, as long as you're minimizing your footprint on tier two and three. Um, you certainly can do that. That's not a problem. It's just a matter of making sure that you're hiding your footprint. I believe you're in a foreign market, uh, so you can probably get away with a hell of a lot more than we can here in the U.S. as far as spamminess. Uh, but I still would I, I would still try to reduce or minimize your footprint at tier two and tier three as much as possible. If you follow the training, we talk about how to do that. Besides that, we also did a webinar with um, Damon Nelson, and he has that uh, new application called RSS Masher. And I've got the link to that here. I'm actually going to drop this on the top of the page. This is the webinar that we did, that I did with um, Damon about, I don't know, two weeks ago or something like that. And uh, and it, where we go through how to use RSS Masher, why I am I advocate or encourage the use of it now for tier two blog syndication networks um, or second tier blog syndication networks, which before I, had, you know, for the last year and a half, close to two years, I've been preaching against doing that. But with... RSS Masher, it's something that can be done, in my opinion now, safely, and, uh, and, and it's manageable using this application. It, whereas before, you could still do it with using s related content feeds at Tier 2, but it was a pain in the ass. It was a lot of additional work to set up, and it was hard to maintain, uh, difficult to maintain, so it, be it just was too cumbersome, and so that's why I had recommended against doing it for so long, but this makes it a hell of a lot more manageable. There's still more work involved. Um, you still have to be careful what you're doing, but this makes it a lot more manageable. And so if uh, if you're using this, then I, you know, you can certainly go out to tier two and tier three and um, and reduce or minimize footprint issues. And so you should be able to get quite a quite a bit of traction using that. The other thing that you can do is um, make sure and let me just put this real quick on the page uh, webinar. Even if you guys aren't interested in picking up RSS Master, I'd still go watch that because it's pretty powerful, um, what you can do with some of the feeds and stuff. And by the way, there's, there, there is, you know, obviously there's a button that'll pop up when you start watching that webinar with the option to go purchase RSS Master. Um, Damon's left the R back door, like special offer, pre-launch uh, offer open for us only, uh, or as far as I know, for he's leaving it open for us, let's put it that way, until the end of this month. Um, the end of September, excuse me, January. Uh, so I would recommend if you, <clears throat> if you're even considering it, that you do it sometime soon before that offer closes. Okay. Uh, the other thing that you can do is power up your tier one ring. Okay, you can boost boost that, build links to it. That's you know something that we <clears throat> recommend at all times is to always power up that tier one ring, and continually publish content because that's what's going to help to theme that network and make it stronger and build more authority. The last line of his comment is pretty cool. It says, by the way, the website I did it with uh, with him got to the first and second spot in a very high, high competition keyword and stuck there like glue. <laughs> That's awesome. From an IFTTT ring. It's great. Nice. Um, just, to, just to add to what you were saying, Bradley, uh, if you're looking for something stronger as you can always try vodka. I'm just kidding, but the, um, <laughs> but no, the, um, the reality is that IFTTT, uh, whenever you know, like any project that we are starting right now has an IFTTT attached to it, you know, no matter what, because it will equalize your link profile and make it so much natural. So you can, you can actually <clears throat> start building some other kind of links. You know, I like to go with links that will actually bring you traffic. That's why we're doing IFTTT, but you can go with PDF links, Web 2.0s, PVNs, if that's something that you want to do. And those will actually behave, those will actually bring your results faster and you will be more protected and you will have also, you know, several link targets to point to um, because you're using IFTTT. So the, the truth of the matter is that depending on your niche, sometimes IFTTT uh, SEO is enough, sometimes it isn't, you know, to be completely honest, like uh, on, on super competitive niches, but uh, these are non you know, they do not exclude themselves. It's not like we are saying you do IFTTT and don't do anything else. No, by right. any means whatsoever. You know, this is an addition to whatever any other thing that you're doing. And it's a smart addition because it will actually leverage whatever other thing, any other kind of link building you're doing, you know, PBNs, 
um, Web 2.0s, whatever, it will actually help you with that to rank better and faster, you know? Yeah, now IFTTT SEO is the foundation. It's the starting point. It's 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 rarely the be all end all. Like it, it you know, I wish it would be. I wish it was that <laughs> that easy. But if it were that easy, then we'd all be out of work, right? Because everybody would be doing it. So, um, but it is definitely the foundation. It's everything I, I always build upon an IFTTT network. I start with that, and uh, just blogging, content marketing, right? And see what kind of results I can get from that, and then I assess it, and you know, determine what else has to be done from there, and then add to it going forward. So.